All right, so question number three, we have five parts. Um, it says use the side-by-side -side box plots shown to complete parts A through E. So we want to know what is the median of variable X. The median would be the middle. I have to scroll down a little bit. So the middle looks like it comes at kind of about 10, 60, 70, 80 to around about 80. So it's going to be the median. <coughs> What is the third quartile of Y? So if you count the lines, this is first, second, this is the third quartile. So this is between 90 and 100. Looks like it's about 98, 99, say 98. Which variable has more dispersion? So how, which one is more spread out? Um, looks like Y is more spread out. Variable Y, the range of X is smaller. That is true. And then variable C says variable Y, the end quartile range of variable Y is larger. So both of those are true statements. But which, the better one to tell you about how spread out it is is going to be the end quartile range. By definition, um, it's telling you how spread out these numbers are. Um, the range just tells you the largest and smallest. So you could have two distributions that have the same uh, smallest and largest value but the spread between them is much different and so um, just the range itself doesn't really help you with the spread uh, but the interquartile range is going to be much much better um, so you want to go with uh, that one and then D uh, describe the shape of X so X if I look at how far the whiskers are from each quartile it looks very much the same and each division of the quartiles even looks the same these boxes look to be about the same width so um, X looks like it has a symmetric distribution um, and then um, E the last part uh, wants to know let's see describe the shape of variable Y so Y is this one, and the whisker on the left-hand side is much, much longer than the one on the right. So this would indicate that the graph is skewed to the left because the left side is much, much longer. And so we would say skewed to the left. 